Shamai Kaigaru Primary School. How are you all? Well, the staff thought we'd put parents and children through their paces with the Kaigaru virtual quiz. And the name of our quiz is Stepped Into Storyland. So there's actually there's no prizes at all, but there's no prizes for guessing what it's all going to be about. So round one is Nursery Rhymes which of course would have to be me because it might involve a little bit of spontaneous singing. And that's, that is what I'm quite well known for in school. Round two, Miss Cowley and Mrs. Scoria are bringing you picture books. Round three, Miss Hawkins is bringing you traditional tales because she's a traditional kind of girl. Mrs. Gowen is a little bit of a princess. So she's bringing you fairy tales. In fact, in fact, she, she, well, she refused to do it unless she did fairy tales, so we have to go with it. These divas. Whew. Then we've got round six. Mr. Young is bringing you books made into films. Round seven, Mr. Griffiths is bringing you storybook villains. And then round eight is being brought to you by our musical maestro, Mr. Topic. He is bringing you music from the Disney films. Whew. So... I'm so excited to start. Are you ready? I know I might look a little bit like a newsreader at the moment with the glasses on, but otherwise I won't be able to see the questions. So round one, nursery rhymes. Get yourselves your piece of paper and your pens and get those thinking caps on. Question number one. Why did Jack and Jill go up that hill? Why did Jack and Jill Go up that hill. Question number two. How did Jack mend his head? Question number two again. How did Jack mend his head? Question number three. Who came to help Humpty Dumpty? Question number three again. Who came to help Humpty Dumpty? Question number four. Where was Humpty Dumpty sitting? Where was Humpty Dumpty sitting? Now this is one of Mrs. Rich's absolute favourites. So anyone who's been in my class will know how many times I've sung this. This answer should come easily to them. Question number five. What happened to the three blind mice? Question number five again. What happened to the three blind mice? Question number six. Over halfway through. How are you all doing? What was Incy Wincy climbing up? Question number six again. What was Incy Wincy climbing up? Question number seven. In the rhyme, one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive. Which finger did the fish bite? Mm -hmm. So in the rhyme, one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive, which finger did the fish bite? Question number eight. What time did the mouse run down the clock in Hickory Dickory Dock? Question number eight again. What time did the mouse run down the clock in Hickory Dickory Dock? Question number nine. How many men did the grand old Duke of York have in his army? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. So how many men did the grand old Duke of York have in his army? And the last one could be the trickiest. What are the names of the dicky birds sitting on the wall? What are the names of the dicky birds sitting on the wall? So I'll be back in a second, check over your answers. 
I'll be back in a second with all the answers for you. Do 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 boo. So let's find out how you got on. I'm hoping for 10 out of 10, otherwise it could be detention when we go back to school. Mm -hmm. So, number one, why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? To fetch a pail of water. Of course they did. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Answer is in the rhyme. Number two, how did Jack mend his head? With vinegar and brown paper. I'm not sure that is advised by medical professionals, so don't try it at home. But yes, with vinegar and brown paper. Number three, who came to help Humpty Dumpty? All the king's horses and all the king's men. It didn't do them any good because they couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again, but they did come to help. They came to do their part. That's all we can ask. Where was Humpty Dumpty sitting? Question four, where was Humpty Dumpty sitting? He was on the wall. That's where the problems began. Question five, what happened to the three blind mice? The farmer's wife cut off their tails with a carving knife. I'm sure RSPCA should have been involved in this case. What was Incy Wincy climbing up? He was climbing up the water spout. In the rhyme, one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive, which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. Number eight, what time did the mouse run down the clock in Hickory Dickory Dock when the clock struck one? Number nine, how many men did the Grand Old Duke of York have in his army? Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men, 10,000 men. And what are the names of the dicky birds sitting on the wall? Peter and Paul. Two little dicky birds sit on the wall, one named Peter, one named Paul. So, this is your time. Count up how many you had right. And you will be seeing I th Mrs Scorey and Miss Cowley next with the picture books round. I wish you all the very best. Don't let us down. Hoil vowr. Did anyone spot my deliberate mistake? I forgot to tell you what round five is. Round five will be guess the character, which will all be on screen. So there'll be nobody dressed up, even the, the staff, well, they were really keen to do it. You've got to draw the line somewhere, haven't you? So round five is going to be a picture round on screen. Now it's back to Mrs. Scorey and Miss Cowley. Hi everyone and welcome to the Kaigaru Virtual Quiz. Mrs Scorey here. Shamai, hope you're all doing well and staying safe with your families. My round is picture books and I'm going to be asking five questions. So I'll ask the question, leave a break for you to think of the answer and then move on. Good luck. Okay, so question one. Finish the name of the book by Julia Donaldson. The snail and the... Okay, so finish the name of the book by Julia Donaldson. The snail and the... Okay, question two. Which small animal meets the gruffalo first? Think of the book, think of the animals. Which small animal meets the gruffalo first? Question three. What kind of pet does Winnie the Witch have? Okay, what kind of pet does Winnie the Witch have? Question four. What did the very hungry caterpillar eat on Monday? What did the very hungry caterpillar eat on Monday? And question five. 
in the famous book by Judith Kerr, which animal came to have tea? Okay, in the famous book by Judith Kerr, which animal came to have tea? Okay, so they are the first five questions of the picture book round. Good luck. Hope you have um, some idea of some of the answers. I'm sure the children will because they're books that we do all the time. Um, good luck and enjoy the rest of the quiz. Hoi vaur. Picture books part two. Question six. How many people went on a bear hunt? Question seven. Where is Harry McLeary from? Question eight. In the book series Funny Bones, what are the main characters? Question nine. In Room and the Broom, what fell from the witch's hair? And question 10. What does the Gruffalo have on his back? Hi, I'm back with the answers to round two, the picture book round with answers to the questions one to five. Number one. Finish the name of the book by Julia Donaldson, The Snail and the Whale. Okay, so the answer is The Whale. Number two, which small animal meets the Gruffalo first? The answer is, of course, the mouse. The mouse met the Gruffalo first. Question three, what kind of pet does Winnie the Witch have? Winnie the Witch has a cat and the cat's name is Wilbur. Wilbur the cat, so one point for cat. Question four. What did the very hungry caterpillar eat on Monday? On Monday he ate one apple. Okay, so a point for one apple. And question five. In the famous book by Judith Kerr, which animal came to have tea? And the answer is a tiger. So a point for tiger. Hope you've scored some points there and enjoy the rest of the quiz. Bye. Answers to picture books. Question six. Five people went on a bear hunt. Question seven. Harry McLeary is from Donaldson's Dairy. Question eight. The characters from Funny Bones are skeletons. Question nine, the witch lost the bow from her hair. And question 10, the Gruffalo had purple prickles down his back. Hello, I've got 10 questions for you now on traditional tales. Good luck everybody. Number one, how many bears lived in the house that Goldilocks visited? How many bears lived in the house that Goldilocks visited? Number two, what did the bears have for breakfast? What did the bears have for breakfast? Number three, what did the three little pigs build their houses from? What did the three little pigs build their houses from? How did the wolf destroy the houses? How did the wolf destroy the houses? Number five. What did the pigs have on their chins? What did the pigs have on their chins? Number six. What was the cottage belonging to the witcher in Hansel and Gretel made from? What was the cottage belonging to the witch in Hansel and Gretel made from? Number seven. What did the gingerbread man chant? What did the gingerbread man chant? Number eight. 
Number eight. What did the ugly duckling grow up to be? What did the ugly duckling grow up to be? Number nine. What did the giant chant when he smelled Jack? What did the giant chant when he smelled Jack? And number 10, who finally managed to eat the gingerbread man? Who finally managed to eat the gingerbread man? Here are the answers from the traditional tales. Number one, there were three bears living in the cottage. Three bears. Number two, they had porridge for breakfast. Number three, the houses were made out of straw, sticks, and bricks. Number four, the wolf blew them down. Number five, they had hair on their chinny chin chins. Number six, the house was made out of gingerbread, cakes and sweets. Number seven, he shouted, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Number eight, the ugly duckling turned into a swan. Number nine, the giant shouted, fee, fi, fo, fum. And the last one, the fox at the gingerbread boy, a fox. Round four, fairy tales. Number one. What time did Cinderella need to get home? Number two, what was her carriage made from? Number three, what kind of sea creature is Ariel? Number four, what did the wicked stepmother chant when she looked in the mirror? Number five, what was used in to poison Snow White? Number six, how many dwarves were there? And bonus point if you can name them all. Number seven, what did the beast keep in the glass jar? Number eight, what made the beast turn back into a man? Number nine, what made Sleeping Beauty go to sleep? And number 10, how was Sleeping Beauty woken up? The answers, number one, midnight. Number two, it's made from a pumpkin. Number three, Ariel is a mermaid. Number four, she says, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Number five, she's poisoned with an apple. Number six, there's seven dwarves called Dopey, Happy, Grumpy, Sleepy, Doc, Bashful and Sneezy. Number seven, he keeps a rose. Number eight, He's freed with Belle's love. Number nine, she goes to sleep because she pricks her finger on a spinning wheel. And number 10, she's woken up because she's kissed by a prince. So this is the guess the character round. You'll have two minutes to have a little look at all these characters and work out which storybook they come from. And your time starts now.
ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's all for now, folks. How do you get on? Here are the answers on screen. Of course, we have the Gruffalo, Winnie the Witch with Wilbur. Then you've got the Twits, Zog, Thomas the Tank Engine, Harry Potter, the BFG, the Very Hungry Caterpillar, and Mrs. Richards might be showing her age now, but I love Droop at the Bay. And then Fantastic Mr. Fox. All those fantastic storybook characters. So, give yourselves a pat on the back if you had 10 out of 10. Hello everyone, my name is Bruce Bogtrotter and I'm going to do a quiz for you today about books that have been made into films. Question 1. What game does Harry Potter play? Question 2. What colour hair does Ron Weasley have? Question 3. Can you name the four houses of Hogwarts? Question 4. What does Charlie Bucket need to find so that he can visit the chocolate factory? Question 5. What sandwiches does Paddington Bear like to eat? Question 6. How do the children travel to Narnia? Question 7. What kind of animal is Aslan? Question 8. Which three characters does Dorothy meet along the yellow brick road? Question 9. What does the Wicked Witch want from Dorothy? And question 10. Who is the nasty head teacher who makes me eat all that cake in Matilda? And now the answers. Question 1. Harry Potter plays Quidditch. Question 2. Ron Weasley has ginger hair. Question 3. The four houses of Hogwarts are Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. Question four, Charlie Bucket needs a golden ticket. Question five, Paddington enjoys marmalade sandwiches. Question six, the children travel to Narnia through a wardrobe. Question seven, Aslan is a lion. Question eight, the three characters Dorothy meets along the yellow brick road are the scarecrow, the tin man and the lion. Question 9. The Wicked Witch wants Dorothy's ruby slippers. And question 10. The nasty head teacher is called Miss Trunchbull. Villains, boys and girls, villains! Now my favourite villain of all time has to be the Trunchbull. You know I model myself on her. What an excellent headmistress she is. Superb! Bring back the chalky, that's what we all say. Only kidding, only kidding. Question one, are you ready with those pens? Who is the nasty woman who wants the Dalmatian's fur? <gasps> Question one, who is the nasty woman that wants the Dalmatian's fur? <laughs> Question two, 
What is the name of the character in Whoville that tried to stop Christmas? Now that is evil, I have to say. Same colour as my heart. What is the name of the character in Whoville that tried to stop Christmas? <sighs> Question three. Who wants to eat Mowgli in the Jungle Book? I can't believe it. Somebody wants to eat Mowgli. Who wants to eat Mowgli in the Jungle Book? Bonus question for you older boys and girls. Who wrote the Jungle Book? Who's the author? Question read Pedwar. Who is trying to catch Peter Pan? One of the best villains of all, I have to say. Who is trying to catch Peter Pan? Question Pimp. Which evil three son want to kill fantastic Mr. Fox? <gasps> no way. Which evil three son want to kill fantastic Mr. Fox? Which character invites the mouse into the log pile house in the Gruffalo? Question six. Which character invites the mouse into his log pile house in the Gruffalos? Question Scythe, and I'm sure we all know the author of, of this book. Whose name don't they like to say in Harry Potter? Question Scythe, whose name don't they like to say in Harry Potter? Question Oith, which man in Beauty and the Beast leads the crowd to kill the beast? Kill the beast! Question Ice. Which man in Beauty and the Beast leads the crowd to kill the beast? Question Now. Which animal is described as big and bad in many traditional tales? Oh! Which animal is described as big and bad in many traditional tales? Very tricky. It's a tricky quiz, this. Question Dig. Can you finish the title of this Julia Donaldson book? The Highway... Question Dig. Can you finish the title of this Julia Donaldson book? The Highway... Hmm, tricky. Well, shall I, boys and girls? I hope you did well in enjoying this quiz. I'm certainly enjoying it. Now for the answers. Are you ready? Question one. Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. Question one. Cruella de Vil. Question two. The Grinch. It was the Grinch that tried to steal Christmas. Very evil indeed. Question three. Shakan. Question, Pedwar, my favourite villain, second favourite villain, the trench was my first. Captain Hook. Question, Pimp, Bunce, Boggis and Bean. Question, Pimp, Bunce, Boggis and Bean. Now that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Question, Chwech, it was the snake. It was the snake who lived in the log pile. Question, Scythe. I'm not sure if I can say this. Am I allowed to say it? Question Scythe. Voldemort. Voldemort. Shh, shh. Question Oith. Gaston. Question Now. It's the wolf. The big, bad wolf. Ow. Question Dig. Obviously, I hope you all got this one. It's the highway rat. Well done to you all, boys and girls. I'm sure you've done marvellous in the quiz. We hope to see you all again soon back at school. Hulva! Hello and welcome to the next part of the quiz. I'm Sapper the Piano, so guess what it's going to be? It is a musical round. So I'm going to be playing 10 Disney songs, well-known Disney songs, and what I want you to write down is the name of the film. 
Okay, so my little motif here, that's the newest I'm going to get to Disney this year. So here we go, this is the first number, write down the film, already, here we go. Last number one, I've written it down. Last number one, okay, so write down the film that it comes on, and this is now the next one. Okay, that's number two. And this is number three. Three that was, and uh, this is number four. Got the film, please. Okay, I'll ask you number four, number five. Oh, I think all of you may know this one. I don't know, but we may know it. Here we go. Okay. So, what was that film? So, the next one, here we go, I think this is number six, if I remember rightly, here we go. Okay, that's number six. Number seven. One of the oldest ones now, so let's see if we can remember this one. Okay, remember it's the film that it comes from, not the actual song, right? The film that it comes from. Next one, here we go. That one, yes, okay. And the next one, uh, let's see. Here we go. Okay, and uh, now final one. If I can find it, here we go, I think so. Um... And there were your 10 songs. I'll see you in a little while when I'll give you the answers. Shut up. And welcome back to our quiz. Well, how did it get on? I had them all right. See? Now the first one. Where did the song come from? Well, the song was Under the Sea, and the film that it came from was The Little Mermaid. So the question, the answer to number one was The Little Mermaid. 
The second one, the song was Whole New World and it came from Aladdin. Number three, the song was called Colours of the Wind, but the song, yeah, well done, you're right, yeah, it was from Pocahontas, Pocahontas. Number four, The Circle of Life, comes from one of my favourite uh, favorite films, it's called The Lion King. Number five, did anybody get that wrong? I hope you didn't. Amazing May, did you get that right? Beauty and the Beast, and it came from the film, Beauty and the Beast. Number six, the song was called Feed the Birds, and the little birds are outside St Paul's Cathedral, and it comes from Mary Poppins. Number seven, one of the oldest songs here, When You Wish Upon a Star, and it's a signature tune to Disney, isn't it? So When You Wish Upon a Star came from the film Pinocchio. Number eight, one of the hardest ones, I think, the actual song was The Beautiful Briny Sea, and it came from the film Bedknobs and Broomsticks, set in London during the time of World War II. Number nine, it was of course the Bear Necessities from The Jungle Book. And the last one was Cruella de Vil and it actually came from the 101 Dalmatians. There we go, that's the end of our musical quiz. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm back to Mrs. Richards. Ta-da! Alexa, how do I apply to go on eggheads? Don't be silly, Mrs. Richards. You are rubbish at quizzes. Rude. How did you get on with our quiz today? The teachers had great fun putting it all together and we really hope you had a good time because in this funny old time, we need things to cheer us up, don't we, and keep us occupied. Thank you so much for joining in. Take care, everybody. And your next challenge is to not sing all the songs that Mr. Toppin played on the piano because I've still been singing them since Monday. So, have a great day. See you soon. Hi, Val.